We're here with Damien Brady from Microsoft, and uh, Damien is also a cloud developer advocate, mm -hmm. but the, you're sort of more DevOpsy. Yeah, 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 DevOps is my kind of specialty. Is that the technical term, DevOpsy? I believe so, yeah, <laughs> I think that's the verb. The verb? I don't DevOps, know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So I know you, you, you've done a lot. So there's a tool called Azure DevOps. Yesterday we spoke to, uh, to Mr. Hand mm -hmm. um, <laughs> about DevOps in a sort of a human capacity. Yep. I thought, hey, we'll touch on the tooling maybe today and sort of um, we'll do a security theme show today. So whatever you can kind of angle into, what is DevOps on Azure? Uh, so the Azure DevOps product is Microsoft's collection of services that uh, give you basically everything you need from getting an idea uh, managing the code and the testing and the release and all of that stuff and putting it in production. Yep. So it's a collection of, uh, there's Azure Pipelines, which is kind of the flagship product, mm -hmm. the, the big one that everybody uses. Uh, Azure Repos for managing your code, if yep. you want to put it in there. Um, Azure Boards for managing your work, all the work items you're doing. Um, there's Azure Test Plans and Azure um, Artifacts. Ooh, Artifact, which is like a NuGet feed kind of thing. Yeah, NuGet, NPM, uh, Maven, and also universal packages. So you can just say, here's 300 files, just throw it up there. It's version 1.3 of this thing. And oh, you wow. That's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. So yeah. it sounds like it's sort of, it's a tool that caters both to developers and project managers and DevOps people and... Yeah, for, for everybody. And increasingly, like you talk about DevOps and DevSecOps is kind of the leading into the security stuff. Uh -huh. All of that stuff can be brought into the pipeline too. Okay. So especially in that CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous deployment or continuous delivery um, area, like the idea is to try and put everything you care about in that pipeline. So before it gets to production, you've already you know, tested the security, you've tested the code, you've tested integration, you've tested that the work you're doing is the most important work mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, yeah. So I kind of know how testing works in terms of software, like unit test or integration test or something. How do you test security? Uh, there's a few different ways. Uh, I'm not totally across the tools, but some of the things you can do, uh, there's a, a free extension that's available called uh, from White Source called oh, right. White Source Bolt. Yep. Um, and it will do things like check your code um, and dependencies to make sure that you're not mm -hmm. using dependencies that have security um, flaws in them. Uh, okay. If you're using an old version of jQuery <laughs> um, that has a security vulner vulnerability in it, yeah. White Source will flag that in your pipeline and stop that from going out to production with the vulnerability. That's really critical, really, actually. That's, yeah. I'm just thinking through it, and I'm like, yeah, we, everybody needs that. Yeah, so that like that's one example, mm -hmm. and it's something that you can put in that pipeline. One of the other ones, uh, there is a new deployment gate. So in the um, Azure DevOps or Azure Pipelines release process, yep. you can set gates to say, um, you know, after I deploy to staging, make sure that this stuff is okay before I go to production to save somebody, you know, manually going and checking things. Yeah, totally. It'll automatically do it. So there's a new one which checks an Azure policy to make sure that oh, yeah. your actual resources in Azure are in compliance, security compliance or, or whatever compliance you have as well. So in other words, don't deploy to production if we haven't met our compliance rules with the firewall and things like that. Because I guess there's sort of two sides of the security aspect. There's the, there's the code and the developers needing mm -hmm. to do their bit to ensure security, but there's also the whole resource part of it in Azure, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that should be part of the pipeline as well. You know, kind of everything that you care about to get that thing running in production mm -hmm. should really be part of that pipeline. And if you care about security, then that should be part of the pipeline too. Like yeah. stop the problems before you get to production and it's much, much easier to fix. Mm -hmm.